Hey guys, it's Katie and we are finally on the 12th day of the 12 days of Vlogmas. It is finally here and to be honest, I am super proud that I've actually managed to do 12 days worth of videos as I didn't think that I was going to do it. And when it came to the 1st of January, I was almost thinking, shall I just go up to the end of December and just not carry on but then I was like no I've said to everyone that I'm going to do the 12 days of vlogmas and I will do the 12 days of vlogmas as when I've said before that I'm going to be doing things a lot of the time I don't actually go through with them so I made myself create a video every single day and I have completed it and it is possibly one of the most fulfilling things that I have done and I've proved to myself that I can complete things that I start. During these videos on the last day of December I uploaded my 100th video on this channel and that is absolutely insane. I thought that I'd possibly get up to 10 and then give up or procrastinate but if anything that is the biggest achievement I've done and I have absolutely no regrets and I am so happy that I joined YouTube and the booktube community because it is possibly one of the most most lovely communities that I've ever seen on YouTube. Everyone is so welcoming, everyone gets on a hell of a lot and we just have something in common that we can all share about which is books. We all love books. Booktube has given me confidence. Before I started Booktube I was contemplating doing YouTube videos for about four years possibly. I kept on picking up a camera and attempting to film and then not being happy because it wasn't perfect. I even bought a new camera. I mean it wasn't anything fancy. I genuinely needed a new camera anyways and I thought when I get this camera I'm going to film some YouTube videos and I did exactly the same things I did before I filmed a video and then I just deleted it because I just wasn't happy with the way it looked but then one day one fateful day in 2012 I uploaded my first video and the rest is history to coin a phrase as I said before the confidence I've gained has been otherworldly just putting yourself out there gives you confidence because you're letting potentially millions of people, I mean I know millions of people don't watch me, but potentially millions of people could see your videos and that is absolutely amazing. Secondly, I have met some of the most amazing people via booktube. You all know who you are. I've met you guys through the meetups and through events and just generally via talking on Twitter as well, which is strange in itself. You are some of the most motivating and lovely and funniest people that I've ever met. It's absolutely crazy that you can contact with people pretty much all over the globe and I am so grateful for each and every one of you and this also goes to the viewers as well although I may not necessarily talk to each and every one of you I try I really try my hardest to reply to every single comment that I receive as I feel that if you've had the time to comment on my little video then I'm gonna make the time to comment back to you and I love having little conversations with you guys as well as you are what keeps me going to be honest you are what gives me the conversation in the comments and I am just so grateful for every single one of you and seriously if you guys want to chat to me on Twitter do it because I I, li I love making new friends. Some of the things that I have learned from booktube is to not necessarily read what everyone else is reading. When I first started booktubing I started reading all the stereotypicals and I bought all the stereotypicals thinking that I'd love them because everybody else loved them but as many of you know the majority of these really popular books I didn't really like so I've started reading what I want to like more recently in more recent months and I've actually enjoyed myself a hell of a lot more than just copying what everyone else is doing. Yes there are times when I do buy the popular books and I really love them but I now buy them because I want to read them and I'm interested by them not because everyone else is recommending them. Another thing I've learned from booktube or YouTube in general is to just be yourself. There is nothing else that you can be if you pretend to be someone else people can tell instantly that you are not being you and it's lovely that each of us can portray each of our different separate personalities. Nobody is any less than anyone else and we all have our individual quirks and ways of filming things and it's just lovely to see a variety of people on the YouTubes. Anyways I'm sorry that I've kind of rambled in on this video but I just wanted to get my feelings across about how I feel about booktube and everything that it's brought to me. I am just utterly grateful for everything that has happened within the past couple of years and it has changed my life honestly it's changed my life it is the best thing that I have decided to do in a long time that is all from me and I will speak to you later bye